So we're going to finish the, well, we're supposed to go to degree two. So we're gonna finish up through degree two. So A0 and A1 were given as, basically leave them undetermined, so we're gonna use S and T for those two right there. So I need to figure out A2. And all I need to do is relate it back to A0 and A1. And I think we have one equation that will do that perfectly. And it was the first one we wrote down. So we'll just subtract. So we got 2A2 equals negative A0. A2 is negative 1 half A0. And then we sub these in our y of x was a0 plus a1. We centered at 0 somewhere. We wrote that down. Well, I certainly made that assumption when I wrote down our y of x right here. So looking at y of x, oops. What gives away that I'm centered at zero? So this should show up as x minus a each time unless a is zero, in which case it won't look like x minus anything. It's just x to the raised to successively higher powers. So I didn't write down the problem that I was centered at zero, but the way I wrote out my series determined I was centered at zero. Uh, so if I give you this problem, you'll need to ask me, hey, where are we centered? Where do you want to center this at? The other indication, and I think that's what I used in the previous problem, your initial conditions basically set an x value. And they'll say, hey, this is what's going on when x is 0. So they determine where you're centered. So <clears throat> this. So if it was like y of 1, would that? We would be centered at 1. Okay. Yeah. So what, at least what I've shown you, what you should not have is something like some information about uh, initial conditions at different x values. So you don't want that to happen. There are ways around that, but we're not going to worry about that. Then you have to worry about convergence at different x values. So we'll just be centered at a single x value, would generally be zero, but you'll look at your initial conditions and get your x value right out of there. So we're centered at zero. So our first three terms look like this. And I am just going to use S and T for A0 and A1. So A2 